Welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. And before I sit down, I'm going to go ahead and show off the sweater I finished because it does fit rather nicely. Um, this was a slippery slope pattern I was working on. And, well, hi there. <laughs> we have a visitor. This is Houdini, and Houdini's going to roll around on the table and look cute. Hi. <laughs> Houdini, can you at least roll over for the camera? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Well, I finished the sweater, and I was, uh, I have to say, you know, it fits really well. It, I am just a little tiny bit disappointed with the seams, but this is the first time I seamed anything. And as you can see, the arm here, where the seam was, I did follow the finishing instructions and did, I guess you call it like a, a weaving stitch to try to pull it together, but it might also be because of this, that how the edges of the pattern were. And Aussie's decided she wants to play, so you're going to hear her. I think I'll sit down now because Queen was a little distracted by the dog and just left the camera where it was at. Oh, he just threw her bone down the steps. she go get it. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday. I am enjoying my finished sweater. It's, it's slightly chilly out today, so I get to wear it. Um, the Angora actually keeps it pretty warm. And this um, yarn was actually serenade by... I can't remember who it was by. Oh, well, anyway... It is a cotton angora blend, and it's just lovely, and it's, it's light and lovely and warm, but not too warm. So, on to, the, on to the good stuff, the yarny goodness. As you see behind me, I have showcased the Valentine's Day yarns that are up for a limited time in the shop. I have a limited amount of these. So, once they're gone, they're gone. But in all the different colorways named after um, gods and goddesses of love, which I thought was totally fitting for Valentine's Day. And I have other yarn to show you. Recently, I put in the shop, let me see if I can pull one out at a time here. See, this one is, okay. That's, the, okay. Camel and camel, there we go. I've got two delicious colors of camel that have gone up in the shop. And it's baby camel. It's incredibly soft, and I absolutely adore it. There is 123 yards per skein. So maybe you might not want to make a whole sweater with it, but it might make a nice, some nice little mitts or a cowl or even a portion of a sweater. And I still have a rolling kitty cat. <laughs> I think he's going after your chocolate milk you have sitting there, hon. <laughs> I think so. So, beautiful camel yarn. And I also have some gorgeous baby yak. I just couldn't resist these. I had to get a few of them to throw in the shop. And actually, this one is obviously twisted much tighter than the other one. I have a very dark chocolatey yak. Dee, can you just move your tail? And Aussie came back up the stairs with her bone. Um, <laughs> and a grayish brown lighter yak. And these are incredibly soft and lovely too. And the yardage is also 123 yards. So just something a little exotic and special for a little bit of luxury. A couple other things that I have decided to do up this week, and this was part of an order I'm doing for our local Dover Foxcroft Agway. It's Foxcroft Agway, I believe. Yeah, that's the name of it. They put in a craft section there, and I did up some gorgeous sock yarns. And these will be seen in there. They're going in tomorrow. So I've got this beautiful teal, purple, and nectarine colorway. And a poppy red... Um, a nice grass green and a, a, a darker linen color. So I thought these were absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to show them off before they got shipped out. <laughs> no worries. I write down every color way so if somebody really likes something they see, throw it into the comments. I'll toss it up into the store. And I do believe that is all we have for this Friday. 
I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week.